Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be covering a few different beginner friendly ways that you can help to make your beauty website look like a high-end professional brand. I'll be covering small details that some new Shopify sellers may overlook when creating their website. And you can also follow these tips if you have a clothing or jewelry brand as well. And also if you're a newbie to using Shopify and you're still deciding between which official plan to choose, I do have a way that you guys can get your first three months on Shopify for just $1. I will link that Shopify sign up link in my description box below for if you'd like to spend your first three months on Shopify setting up your store without having to commit just yet to a long term plan. Let's get straight into this video. Starting with the first Shopify tip, this is a setting on your Shopify product page that you can customize to help to create a more professional looking product page. When you open up a product inside of your Shopify store, here's an example product that I've added. On your product page, you should see your product media gallery, which is the area that will display each of your product photos for that specific product. Customizing the display of your product media section can help to add a professional touch to your product pages. I'll be showing you a few different ways you can customize the display of your product media gallery. By default, when you first open your product page, your product photo section may have a layout similar to this one, where the main photo is displayed and then the additional product photos are arranged below it. To customize the style and arrangement of that section, you want to make sure that you've clicked on the product information box then here under media is where you can begin customizing the display of the product photos. Next to desktop layout, this is where you can apply a different layout for the positioning of the photos. For example, you can select two columns, which is going to show the photos in pairs, and you can also select thumbnails. This way your customers can click through each of the photos and they'll see a mini overview of all the photos down here in this row when they're usually on a desktop or a laptop device or you can also choose to set the thumbnail carousel setting. This is similar to the thumbnails setting, except it does add arrows. So if you have enough photos for your customers to scroll through, they should be able to use the arrows to navigate through the row of photos. Simply customizing your product page photo arrangement can add a true professional touch to your website. You also have a variety of different editing options. For example, you can choose to adjust the desktop media width, which would be the size of how much space the photos take up on the screen, you can then adjust the media fit for that main photo and you can customize the image zoom setting. For example, right now when a customer clicks on this photo, it's going to show a close up for them to view a closer version of that image. You can choose to set this to a different setting. For example, you can apply the click and hover setting and you can also apply the no zoom setting if you would like. And once you're finished, that is a setting that you can customize on your website's product pages that can make a huge impact on your website and on the overall customer experience on your website. By the way, if you do have an online skincare store or even a business in another niche, like a cosmetics or a dropshipping store, I do have this Shopify theme along with a line of other Shopify themes for in case you would like to save the time from creating and designing your website completely from scratch. Using a Shopify theme can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your different collections, your services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time. If you're not too familiar with Shopify themes, the template will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then go to your homepage, you'll be able to upload that website theme straight into your store and you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products. Most of my Shopify templates are template bundles, so they do include an installation guide with instructions and screenshots to show you how to install the Shopify theme. I have a wide variety of Shopify templates for different types of business niches, including skincare, dropshipping, and even coaching businesses. My theme bundles also include additional templates like web banner templates, logo templates, and more. If you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. Next, I'll be covering a Shopify setting that you can customize in your website to give your website a more professional look. And this would actually be your cart page setting. You can customize the action that happens after your customers add a product to their cart. And I'm gonna show you where to go to customize that setting. So first you'll want to open your Shopify website and you'll want to open your theme settings. This will have different settings for different sections that you can customize. I'm going to scroll down and you'll want to scroll down until you see the cart drop down. I'm going to click on this and this is going to show you an overview of a few different cart page settings that you can customize, including the cart type, the vendor for in case you would like to display the vendor of the product on the cart page, and you can also enable a cart note. First off, I'll be covering the customization setting for the cart type. 
So when you go to open up a product, if you have an active product listing that's in stock, you should be able to click add to cart to just do a tester for how it would look if you add the product to your cart. And as you can see, it shows a pop-up that confirms that the item has been added to the cart. Then when customers click on their cart, they'll be able to see the product added. And that is with the pop-up notification cart setting. Next, you can choose to set this to a different setting like the drawer setting. This way, when a customer open up a product and they add it to their cart, a pop-up on the side of the screen is going to show the cart. This way they can see an overview of their cart while remaining on the page that they're currently on in case they would like to continue shopping or in case they would like to edit their cart. And selecting this drawer setting also allows customers to be able to check out without taking the extra step of going directly to the cart page. And then for another setting, you can choose to apply the page setting. This way after a customer adds the product to their cart, it's gonna automatically redirect them straight to the cart page. This way customers won't have to take the extra step of clicking directly on the cart. Different cart page settings can work best for your store depending on what type of products you sell. So for example, it could be a good idea if you have a one product store or if you mainly have a one standalone type of product in your store, it may make sense to apply the page setting because if you don't have a ton of other products for customers to search in your website, then after they add the product to their cart, they may just wanna be directed straight to the cart where they can go ahead and check out. I'd select a cart setting that would work best with your store type. And also in general, you can just choose whichever one fits your website the best. I'll be sticking with the pop-up notification. This way, after customers add a product to their cart, they have a confirmation that it has been added. However, they can continue shopping. Then you may notice that there are also additional settings, like how you can choose to show the vendor or how you can apply a cart note. So I'm gonna open my cart page and I'm gonna do a test and I'm gonna show you an example of adding a cart note. Adding a cart note can be great for stores that do custom orders and that allow customers to put in special requests. A lot of new Shopify sellers may overlook the importance of the small details, even in their cart page. These details can say a lot to your website visitors. Then for the last tip, this is a small detail on your footer bar that you can customize and this can make your website look more professional. Customizing your footer bar and adding things like your logo and even your brand details can help to make your website's branding look a little bit more professional. And I'm gonna show you a simple way that you can go ahead and add your logo and a mini brand description to your footer bar. So in between sections on your website's homepage, you should be able to click add section to template. Then I'll be inserting a multi-column section. And this is the section I'm gonna to customize to feature a logo and also a mini brand description. So I'm gonna remove this heading text. And then I'm also going to remove the backgrounds that was behind these text boxes. You can choose if you would like to center the column alignment or not. And I'm only gonna be using two columns. So I'm gonna click on one of these columns and I'm gonna remove it. Then I'm going to reduce the number of columns to the number two. And in this first column, I'll be adding the logo. And in the second column, I'll be adding the brand description. Before I do that, I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to select and remove the button label text since I won't be needing that button label right now. You have other customization options for this section. I'm gonna set a different color scheme. Then you'll want to click on that first column and I'm gonna remove the description text along with the heading text. That's gonna leave a blank column so that you can insert an image. I'm gonna click select and then you can upload your logo. Once you uploaded your logo, I'm gonna scale the logo to be smaller. So I'm gonna click on this multi-column and then up here next to image width, it's currently set to full width of column, but I'm gonna set this to half width of column. And that's gonna minimize the size of that logo. Then I'm also going to click on this column and you can choose to add a mini brand description or any other text. And that's how to add a mini brand description as well as a logo to the footer of your website. And here's also an example of how it looks on the mobile view. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.